Hi, I'm going to show you how I use this free pallet wood and all these basic tools to make this console table. My goal for this project was to see if I can make something using free material and using basic tools so that I can resell it and buy more tools down the road with the money that I made with it. So starting off, we've got some very basic tools. We've got a sanding block, a miter box, some F clamps, a measuring tape, and drill. The extra drill bits aren't as important just because the drill that I have already comes with a Phillips and flathead, which is more than enough for this project specifically that I'm gonna be doing. One thing you are gonna need is drill bits. I got these drill bits from my dad. It was just a miscellaneous bag full of them, but you can get pretty inexpensive ones for wood just so that you can do a lot of pre-drilling so that the wood doesn't split. Next, moving on to the wood, this is actually a pallet that I got from work. I took it apart there, but I couldn't take a video of it just because I'm not allowed to take videos at work. So yeah, these are all heat treated pine. They look pretty good. Uh, they just need a little bit of sanding. I kind of freestyle this build, but the general dimension of this build was 10 and a half inches in width and 32 inches long. I just used three of the pieces of wood and then I cut two 10 and a half inch pieces for the supports in the middle. I also forgot to mention, I picked up one of these super cheap squares as well. These are really important if you're gonna make anything square, basically, but yeah, super inexpensive, um, great tool to have as well. First, I wanted to cut off this knot that was in it because this was the flattest part of the wood and I wanted to use this for the 32 inch section. I'm gonna be using a miter box just so that I can show that I don't need power tools to make a table. But it is a lot harder to do, so hopefully the, with the money that I get from this build, I can buy myself a nice electric table saw as well. I actually found it a lot easier to just start at the cut in the miter box and then finish it outside of the box. After I cut it, I measured up my 32 inches and made my second cut for the third strip of the table. Okay, so initially I was gonna cut this in half and have it on the outside, but now that I uh, have started using the saw and my arms are tired, I don't know if I want to cut this all the way lengthwise. I think I'm just gonna put it in the middle and have it like that. So I have extra pieces that will go across like this and like this on the bottom and I'll go from there. So I just gotta start prepping the surfaces. I'm gonna use my sanding block to just smoothen out the sides so that there's a, a good surface for the glue to uh, bond to. So I cut the off cut into two pieces and it turned out to be almost exactly 10 and a half inches each. So I'm gonna see if I can, I'm probably gonna see if I can glue this to the bottom side equally. And then hopefully on the other side, it will be fairly flat. It's not gonna be 100% flat because I don't have a planer and plane the sides or square up the sides or joint. I don't have a jointer to make the, the, the sides flat. So this is gonna be a very rough table. This might end up being a bench actually, but I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm gonna see if I can have enough screws to fix this down and let it dry. And we'll go from there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to glue the middles. I'm gonna try to glue the middles as well so that it has, it's a little bit more rigid as well, but we will see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out good because the whole point is to be able to make money and upgrade my tools from what I have right now, currently.
So after I glued the middle pieces, I used one block to space out where the cross members are going to be and that's where I'm going to put them, just like this. I did actually have another clamp, so I used that to smush the three pieces together to have a tighter glue up as well. And then I'll do the same thing for the next side. Next, I'm gonna measure up and cut this plank to fit in between these two cross members so that it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing when you look at it from the top side. Stick it on, stick that on, and screw it. And that should be that, and then I can get to staining it, or sanding it first and staining it. Now that I have the top done, I'm going to flip it around and do the bottom. Now that everything's sanded, I'm going to brush everything off, as well as trying not to put a hole in my ceiling. This is the stain I'm going to be using. I actually got this for free. It came with the house. Um, it's this polyurethane, dark stain. Uh, I think it'll look good on the table. So that's what the bottom side looks like after one coat. I'm going to be doing two coats in total for both sides as well as some light sanding in between it. And next I'm going to flip it over to do the top side. For the top side I propped it up with these cups so that I won't ruin the finish that I've done on the bottom side even though that nobody's really going to see it but I just wanted to make it as nice as possible. Now that the surfaces have both dried up, I'm going to use the sanding block to lightly sand it so that I can apply the next coat. 
And obviously before I apply the next coat, I'm going to use a, a damp towel to wipe off all the dust that I've just sanded. Once I finished wiping it and now it's all dried up, I'm going to apply the very last coat and let it dry from there. And then again, carefully flipping it over, I'm going to do the final coating on the top side. And this is what the finished product looks like after two coats of stain. All that's left is to install the legs. I'm going to be using these hairpin legs that I got from Amazon for 45 bucks. They look pretty good and I think it's going to match the build pretty nicely. So first thing I did was line up the holes and marked it so that I can do some pre-drilled holes. And after pre-drilling the holes, I used the provided hardware to screw in the legs. The legs also included these rubber feet to keep the legs leveled on the ground as well as prevent it from scratching the floor. Finally, after installing the legs, this is the first time I'm actually looking at it. And as you can see from my stupid face, I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> sweet! This thing is sweet! Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Now all that's left is to post it and see if somebody wants to buy it. Okay, so I've created both a marketplace ad as well as a Kijiji ad. Kijiji is basically like a Canadian Craigslist, but like less sketchy. Anyway, I've, I've created both. I've posted it for $150 as a hallway console table. I think it looks pretty good, so all that is left is to wait and see if anyone actually wants to buy it. Hopefully someone buys it. It'd be cool to make some money out of it so I can buy more tools for my future projects. After almost two weeks, a couple of hits and a couple of no-shows, I finally found a buyer who was actually interested in picking it up. They came by later that day and we agreed upon a price of $100. So yeah, here it is. 100 bucks. I sold the table. It took a while. I guess I listed it for too high of a price. Maybe it's just because people are low budget, but I'm, I'm glad with what I got for now. It's my first project, so I was happy to make any money out of this. So now with a hundred bucks, I can buy a used table saw. I can buy sanding equipment like an orbital sander so that I don't have to manually sand everything because using the miter box sucks, but it's not bad, but sanding sucks. So, so yeah, we'll see what I can get with this hundred dollars. Hopefully I can get something that will help me improve my productivity as well as increase the quality of the stuff that I make. So uh, yeah, as you can see, you can make money out of out of using very little equipment. You just have to be kind of creative. Uh, obviously, you have to source your pallet wood, but once you've got your wood, you can make whatever you want. So I might actually try making this again with nicer equipment one day, but for now, um, I'm gonna move on to other projects and see where that takes me. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. As always, thank you for watching. If you like my content enough, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. I want to try to make this a series, so if you guys want to see more of this type of stuff, I would also recommend subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate it a lot just to keep up with all my other future projects. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed again. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye!